Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I'm trying the Draw This Again meme challenge thing. And this drawing is actually my most popular video on YouTube, and I have no idea why it is. I would like to know, but I just don't know. I've tried figuring it out. It's not even got like a proper title, it's just called Speed Drawing, and it's like three or four minutes long and it's only music, there's no voiceover, but for some reason it is my most popular piece. I'd, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to redraw that one because it shows a big contrast in how my style has changed from... This one was originally drawn in, I believe, 2015. So when I actually drew this sketch out for the challenge, I did draw this at the end of 2016. So I suppose this would be classed as 2015 to 2016. And I think I will redraw it again at the end of 2017, just to see how my style has changed over the course of three years. But when I was doing it, I really wanted to try and match the colours to the original as much as possible. So this is what I'm trying to do now, because I do have some of the markers I had when I first did that piece. Most of them have either run out, or some of them have been replaced, but the one I struggled most with was matching the skin tone. Which, I think I do still actually have the right pen, but I didn't pick the right one. So, I don't know what happened to that one. But, oh well. I remember I did choose to do the coat green on the original one because I have so many green pens, which I've mentioned in my video where I did a collaboration with Black Summer Colouring, but I still have a lot of green pens. And I don't know why, just green seems to be the colour I collect, even though it's not even my favourite colour, but whatever. It's really interesting seeing how much my style has changed since I first did that drawing, and I think this was my second or third video on YouTube for the speed drawing of the pink haired girl, and in the video doesn't even have a proper title, it was literally called speed drawing, and it's got no voiceover, but yeah, it's... I liked how that one turned out with the Titan, like, I really liked the coat and the hair, but I really wanted to do this newer version with a smoother pose because I think it's quite sharp on the original and the face shape is really sharp. I mean, just how I draw faces now is so different. It's not as in influenced by anime and manga because I used to watch it all the time. I wasn't drawing, I was watching anime. It was just one of those things, but I didn't really have many other responsibilities then other than work and college and uni, so that's why. But, obviously now I've got a child so I don't watch it as much, and I've been trying to focus more on getting my style more realistic, or like a hyper-realism. So, it's just, like on the newer version, the face is more rounded, the anatomy is so much better. I mean, you can't tell too much because... The pose I did on the other one was quite a simple one to draw, um, but I did hide the hand as you could see. And I used to do that so much because I just hate drawing hands. I still hate drawing hands, but I wanted to try and make it look a bit more of a natural pose. Um, in the second one, which is why she's got hands in her pockets like that still, but you can still see part of the hand. Um, but yeah, it's trying to find an art style is a difficult and very long process and it's always changing. I've been working on mine for so many years now and it changed like maybe up to well at least over 10 times when I was in uni alone so for those three years my style was just constantly changing but that was because of what happened to me in uni and if you want to um, have a video if you want me to do a video on my art school experience then just comment below if you'd want to see that because I have had a hell of an experience through art schools because I went well I did art courses at three different places so yeah that would be a long talky video so what I don't mind doing that if you want to see it but anyway um I wanted to change the design of the t-shirt for this piece to make it more modern because like at the minute all the kids have got like the big branded t-shirt like pattern going across the top on the chest and I only originally did it on the bottom corner, because at that time, art theft was, well, it's still a big thing, but it was a lot worse, and people were erasing artists' like signatures off the sides, even if, like, because I signed this one on the edge of the leg, if I remember rightly, but they would get really close up into the picture and erase it if they could. 
so everyone was having to put like huge nasty watermarks over the top or incorporate the name into the drawing somewhere so that was what I did originally for that first one but now it was just I wanted to make it look as if it was supposed to be part of the piece and actually thought about a bit more and yeah it, just seeing the two of these side by side and showing how much my style changed within just over a year really because I did this one at the end of 2016 and I think I'm going to redraw this again at the end of 2017 but here you can see I'm just fixing because my Pentel brush pen ink smudged so I was trying to use my gel pen to lighten it up and then go over it with my markers a bit but yeah shh, I did not I made no mistake I promise I didn't yeah anyway and I will redraw this at the end of 2017 just to see how much my style has changed again because I know it is still evolving at the minute but I'm not completely happy with it as it is now on some drawings I'm more happy than others but it's definitely a work in progress as art always is but anyway um, it's coming to the end of the video now so if you want me to do that art school experience video then please give this video a thumbs up and a comment below but i hope you enjoyed this one thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye